Hey guys, Miss Brittany here with you again today. I hope that everyone is still home safe, spending time with their families. Um, today we are going to do another positive action lesson and it's called the memory game. So we are going to set a goal to develop and use the positive action memorization using our senses. And so that is a whole brain skill to be able to recall different information and to remember different things. And so we're gonna use that to improve uh, our memory and we can use mental exercises to help us do that if we have a good, normal, healthy body. Um, if you feel a little bit rusty on your memorization skills, that's okay. It's time to put that part of your brain to work. And so let's train it to remember. And um, we can do that by repeating the things that we hear. Um, we can do that by jotting them down, writing them down, making ourselves a note. And also, uh, we wanna think about what part of the brain controls my memorization. Uh, the last lesson, we spoke about the whole brain and how the right and left hemispheres uh, of the brain, they control the opposite side of our bodies. And so, if we remember, when we looked at the whole brain, I have some work sheets here for us. You can just look back. The left hemisphere of the brain, in our last lesson, it controls verbal language, reading, locating details and facts, talking and reciting, listening, and verbal memory. So our memorization skills, um, they're gonna fall into the left hemispheres of our brains. And so it's things like, do you remember where you put something? Or are you able to recall information for a test? And we know that the word verbal, it means to speak. And so it's something that you hear. And memorization, it requires using our whole brains. And sometimes we have to train our brain to become better at it. Okay, so if you're not that good at it, that's okay. We can use these mental exercises to help us remember. So, we can go back to our self-inventory and we can look at those strengths and we can look at the weaknesses and evaluate and see how far that we have come. Are there things that we have weaknesses in? Are there things that we have already targeted to try to improve? So, let's go back to our self-inventory concept sheet. And we originally started with this, if you remember. And so we're talking about memorization. It's gonna fall under the intellectual category. And underneath that, it has reading, listening, observation, memorization, creative and analytical thinking, and decision and problem solving. So if you will, you can go down through there and you can rate yourself. So if you have a low rating, you are gonna do a one to a three. If you think that you have a fair rating, you, you kinda of get the concept and you have good memory skills, you're gonna do a four or a six rating. And so a seven to a nine is a 10. And then 10 is super. You can recall all different types of information and, and that's something that's very easy for you to do. Sometimes other people, uh, they need a little bit of guidance and able to retain that information. And so the skills that we are gonna to learn today, they're gonna to help you be an expert at memorization as well. And I have another worksheet with us today. It's the scientific method. We are going to apply this to our goal of developing the positive action of memorization using our senses. So number one question is, what are you trying to discover in your self-concept? What are the things that you're trying to learn about yourself? And number two is, what do you think will happen to your self-concept throughout these lessons? Do you feel that you will discover strengths and weaknesses? Is that going to help you have a better quality of life and be able to have good relationships with other people? Are there areas that you need to improve on? Uh, let's think about the body. Uh, the social aspects of it, 
the intellectual aspects of it, and the emotional side as well. And so, are we getting enough sleep and exercise? Are we eating nutritious meals every day? Do we have meaningful relationships with other people uh, that don't pressure us into doing things that we do not want to do? Um, are our emotions okay? We need to uh, do a self-check. Let's check in with ourselves. Are we feeling okay? Do we need to seek out a trusted adult to guide us and help us through a difficult um, situation in our lives? And so number three is the method. We want to look at the self-concept baseline. So we want to look at all of the different areas that we just discussed. And we want to track and evaluate. That's what we have been doing throughout and then we want to see what kind of areas to focus on. And that is just going to help us with our self-esteem. It's going to help us with our self-concept. Um, and it's going to help us to be healthier as well, taking care of our bodies. And so when we think about memorization, there are short-term and long-term memory banks. Um, this is where you just store different different types of information. And so it may be a memory from childhood. Uh, we might take a short-term memory and store it into our long-term memories. And so when we first learn of something, it can disappear from our brain within 15 to 20 seconds. And I thought that was a very interesting fact. So if we can use the skills that we have learned today, such as repeating, verbally speaking, uh, writing things down, jotting yourself a little note, that is going to help put that short-term information and store it into the long-term information. We learn different things throughout our life and we have different compartments in our brain. So we can kind of think about it as a filing cabinet. And so we take bits of information and we compartmentalize it. And what that means is we take and we put it in different areas of our filing cabinet in our brain. And so if we don't use those skills, those short-term memories, they can decay, they can disappear. And so that's not going to be something that we can recall later that we're going to remember. And so let's think about maybe journaling some things down. Um, where are you at in your positive self-concept at this moment? And we are going to continue to put um, this lesson into our daily lives, uh, being able to look at things in a different way. Um, our quality world, what are the people that we're going to put into that quality world? The people that we care about, uh, the people that love us, our family, and are those people that I want to surround myself with as far as friends go? Um, sometimes we can come up in a difficult environment and not everyone has the same uh, privileges and advantages. And so we always need to keep those things in mind as well, uh, treating others the way that we want to be treated, always taking our lessons and using them daily. Uh, peer pressure, we want to remember and respect people's nose, taking care of our, of our bodies and our mental health, uh, always seeking out the trusted adult. And so I'm gonna continue to try to place these different types of characteristics and skills into our little brains. Um, the more we talk about it, the more we're going to be able to remember the information. And hopefully it can help you all in your daily lives growing up. You know, growing up is difficult and it's really hard. And it's scary sometimes as well. Uh, so these are different things that we absolutely uh, need to gain more knowledge on. And so always if you're feeling uh, down or maybe emotional, uh, please always reach out uh, to the trusted adult that you feel comfortable talking to. And that's all that I have for today, guys. And I hope that we have learned something and maybe we can recall information a little bit better after today. Okay, thanks guys, see ya.